What's going on? We're back at it again. Drams on deck. Today, we got another hot review. We got the LaFroy Triple Wood cast. I'm out here in Temecula country again with my man Tony. How y'all doing? What's up? This one right here is going to be smoky. We got a nice peated whiskey right here. This one here, as you can see, LaFroy Triple Wood. This one right here, as you can see, is bottled at 48%. So it's a grown man on them right here. <laughs> There's the, there's the uh, bit tin that it comes in right here. Triple wood. Now, this particular uh, expression right here, unlike the normal Lafroids, is it has it starts off with ex bourbon barrels, then switches it to quarter cast, and then finishes it in European oak for a sherry sweet influence. Most Lafroids are straight smoke. It's not too much uh, what you would call, you know, bourbon barrels or sweeter ones, but this one right here has a little bit of it. So, this is on his last leg, so I thought we could do a nice review. Um, I mean, he's a cigar smoker, so he definitely likes the smokier side of things. So I decided to bring a nice one out, see if he likes this one. So we're still we're new to whiskey, but we're definitely trying different ones. So we have like the uh, more aged ones. We have some, you know, older ones. This is a more of a moderate one. And we have smoky ones, sweeter ones. So we're just trying different ones and see what uh, different people like, you know, as far as the normal public, you know, normal Joe. So. That being said, this particular bottle, I had this one for about, I would say, almost a year now. And it's been sitting on, I've been tasting it here and there when I have a taste for like a hint of uh, smoke. So this one right here, I had about a year. I think I paid, I got this on uh, Whiskey Exchange. I paid roughly around $70, 60 or $70 for this one. You can find this one, um, I, don't, I don't see it as prevalent as much, but you should be able to find it at a normal liquor store. This one should be available in the same price range. It normally ranges, and most of the Freud's are in that price range in the $60, $70 range. Um, so this one right here is pretty much the same one. So um, like I said, had it about a year. And as you can see on the back, it has a little tap. So I got it from the Whiskey Exchange. So um, yeah, 48%. And we're going to jump right in. All right, we'll take a look at the color real quick. It's like a nice, mild amber color to it. So um, definitely, I like the colors nice. You can see it through the tinted glass. But this one right here, even even as I head up from a distance, I can smell the smoke. So mm. it's definitely uh, gonna be like I smell straight campfire ashes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smell like a bonfire going on. For <laughs> <laughs> sure. I get a hint of oak on it too, but the, but the campfire and the ashes is the most prevalent thing that you pick up on the nose. Smell, I almost smell like a tire too, like rubbery, yeah. tire, leathery type of influence. Like when the rubber meets the road, have, you get a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. I actually smell that. It's funny you can smell that. <laughs> Once you nose it, when you stick your nose in it, keep it for about a good 10 seconds, you get kind of immune to it a little bit, get used to it. <sighs> yeah. Most yeah. campfire ashes, rubber, yeah, you get all that, you know. It's definitely not, a, it has no floral uh, aspects on the not nose, too. <laughs> it has a more of an outdoorsy, manly, uh, you know, yeah. uh, oak uh, the camp that has a, that, that outdoorsy uh, smell to it. So, um, we're gonna try it right now on the palate. We will, of course, about maybe almost 10 minutes ago, let it open up. So, now we're gonna jump right in on the palate and see what we got. All right. All right. I definitely taste the bourbon barrels on it. I get nice balance on it. it to me, it smells smokier than it tastes. Don't get me wrong, the taste the smoke is there. <laughs> but you pick, but you I pick way more smoke up on the nose. On the on the palate, I do pick up the smoke as well, but I, I, it's more balanced with other things as well. That was my first sip. Let me take another sip. This is a grown man drink. Most definitely, definitely, you know, most, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it to, to most beginners, but but I will say this is a, has a definitely of a stronger influence um, on a higher ABV as well as on, on the smoke side. So. Wow. 
Wow. It definitely surprises you when you taste it, but to me, yes, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Just imagine a very smoky bourbon. That's what I get on this. Like, yeah. if you ever had like a normal bourbon, like I don't know, common one, we'll say Evan Williams or you know something in that nature, or Jim Beam. Let's imagine that with just a lot of smoke influence in it, and and it's it's forty eight percent. So, but it goes pretty, it goes down pretty much. It does have a little small kick to it, but it's, it's a nice, it's a nice punch. It's not, it's not to me, it's not aggressive on, on the alcohol ABV. It doesn't burn my tongue. But when you pick it up, when I first try, I, I pick up a lot of that oak, yeah, the oak for the, the the bourbon influence, and then right on the mid palate, that's why you get a lot of that campfire, that ash, yes. that smoke. It comes right on the mid palate. It's very prevalent. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to this to see if it changes and makes it more sweeter or maybe makes it a little smokier. So I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this to see if it changes the complexity at all. By and large, this is the very first and uh, Lafroy bottle I've had. I had samples. I've had the lore. I reviewed that. I've had the quarter cans before. So this is the very first. I have, those are the samples I ordered from a whiskey exchange. So this is the very first uh, bottle of Lafroy that I had. The, the triple wood. I tend normally to lean towards more of the sweeter finish, more of like the sherry one, the European notes. But I do like peat whiskeys as well. I tend to lean towards half and half. So half peat, half sweet. So this is the one of the more smokier ones that I've had, but I like a nice balance of it though. Um, so this right here it does just the, the trick of that. I mean, it, it's Lafroy is known for smoke, so this one right here, like I said, this is more of on on the mild tone of, of the smoke. Cause there are some Lafroy's that are way smokier than this, but I, wow. this still has a nice um, nice balance to it for me. So I'm, I add a little bit of water to see if it changes the complexity. So we're gonna jump right in on this last sip with the water. To me, a little bit of water. It tastes very same to me. I don't pick up a lot of difference on this one. But with the water. But I still picked up the the bourbon, the vanilla, the oak, the char, the smoke. Very heavy on uh, very nice mild smoke, but it's yeah. it's very prevalent though. The so, I'm sorry. The water toned it down a little for me. Just a mm -hmm. little. Did it just taste sweeter or oakier? Or just about the same? On a little bit? sweeter. It sweeter? tastes a little sweeter. Yeah. Okay. Drown the smoke a little bit. Right. Okay. Right. Like I said, this one right here, um, like I said, well balanced. You have, like I said, the European, the quarter cast, and you have the ex bourbon cast. So that bourbon influence, that's definitely what I taste. So, just, so if you can imagine, like I said, a smoky bourbon, that's what you kind of get with this, with the ex bourbon cast. And then this right here is is balanced, so it's not just straight smoke. You're getting a balance of the vanilla, the char, the oak. Smoke very prevalent. You know, like I said, like a rubbery kind of aftertaste yes. consistency, yes. but it's pleasant. I know people when you think about rubber in your mouth, it doesn't taste right. <laughs> doesn't right. think to taste good, but it, it, it's. I guess that's one way I could put it, but it does taste very balanced, though. Yeah. I'm saying you should definitely try it. You should be able to find this at, a, at most uh, high-end liquor stores. Yeah, I rarely do. I see this at a, at a uh, high-end uh, uh, restaurant per se. You will find the four, but normally the ten or the quarter cast, which you find more so than the triple wood. Uh, that being said, on the rating scheme, I've had to rate this one to ten. Ten being the best. Um, for me, uh, I would definitely give this an eight because it's it's, it's to me. Yeah, I love the smoke. I like the the bourbon influence in it, and it, and it marries very well to me. I don't think uh, that it's it's it, the smoke doesn't overpower it. You can still get the bourbon influence along with the the smoke. So to me, it's a solid eight. Only reason why I wouldn't give it nine is only because I tend to lean towards more sweeter than this. So it's a matter of preference. My man here probably would give a much higher score, but this is a solid eight to me all day, which is a very very good score. I, I really enjoy this. It really, but this is one of the things for me personally. I have to be in the mood for smoke. I'm not a cigar smoker, so to me, it's, it's one of those things where, okay, I'm, I'm in the mood for something a little bit more smoky, a little bit more stronger than the normal sweeter side. So if I'm in the mood for it, that's this one, typically when I would grab this. It's not an everyday dram for me. It's more like when I'm in the mood for it. So, all right, so my only thing, I got to go to seven. And the okay. only reason, I love the smell. I love the oak. I love the smoke. Yeah. All of that. 
but you touched on some earlier mm -hmm. for like a first time or a new you know mm -hmm. someone new to whiskey mm -hmm. which i am and you know he's yeah. introducing me to a lot then that would that brought it down the taste alone mm -hmm. brought it down a little to a seven i think if i had it and got used to it then you know that will bump it up mm -hmm. but as far as the smell and everything absolutely love it i absolutely love it so but i gotta go with seven all right so, no this is the oak a little strong a little yeah, smoke, yeah, a little yeah, strong. yeah yeah when okay. it was water when i hit the water with it a little it it that's more it pleasant little, for you right okay right, right like i said definitely like i said when, when you when you're trying different whiskeys especially scotch in particular the, you know it comes from the same island but there's scotches that's polar opposites they got scotches that's super sweet it's something that's mild that has no sweetness in it. Then you have something that's super. I mean, I mean, super smoky. So it, it it's different spectrums. You have something that's half and half. So this one right here is more on the smoke side, with with the influence of of uh, I would say bourbon or sherry. You know that type of influence, but it's a smoke side. So if you're someone who's never tried before, like something you might need to ease into. Yeah. By and yeah. large, it's something that I got used to as as I started drinking more and more. Yeah. By and large, um, like I said, eight for me. Seven for him. Mm -hmm. I thank thank you guys for signing up. If you if you have you like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We have some more hot reviews. If you like this, hit me in my comment box. I will definitely give you some more uh, content. But while we're in here, we're definitely gonna give you more uh, more hot reviews. Till then, signing off. Drams on deck. deck.